Hi guys! Have you ever dreamed to install Android in your Dudu X86? Here is the guide how to easily perform this task. To fulfill this operation, I use the Udo X86 Advanced Plus with a M2 Wi Fi module and a 32GB eMMC, but you can use any free drives you have. Remember that this guide allows you to install Android only in an empty drive with no OS already installed in it. From the Udo website, go to the Udo X86 docs. Here you'll find the Android section under Software and OS Distro. In this video, we're taking care of the Android installation using Bliss ROM. If you need a step-by-step -step written guide instead of a video guide, you can follow this link. While to just download the ISO image, you need to click the link above. Here, just download the ISO image and wait for it to finish. Once you have it, you just need to flash the image in a pen drive as described in one of the guides we already prepared. Let's now plug the pen drive to the Udo X86 and begin the installation of Android. To stop the boot and access to the boot manager, we need to press ESC multiple times. Here we select the pen drive between the two API options. In this case, it's the first one. In the next menu, select the Bliss X86 Install Upgrade. If during this whole procedure you experience any problem with wireless mouse or keyboards, just remember to use cable USB mouse and keyboards instead. In this menu are listed the drives connected to the board, the eMMC 32GB where to install Android and the pen drive. Now we select Create Modify Partitions. Let's choose the drive where do we want to install Android, in this case the eMMC, and choose not to use the GPT. Here we need to create two different partitions with utility disk. One API of 100 MB size will use to boot the US and one X4 bootable partition where to install Android. Choose New to create a new partition, then Primary. The size will be 100 MB and we'll place it at the beginning of the free space. Now we need to select Type and search for a correct file system type. What we're looking for is AFI type. So to assign it, we just need to write EF. OK, the first partition is ready. Now let's select the free space below and select again New to create the second partition. Choose Primary and press Enter to select all the remaining space. Now you need to press Bootable to flag the partition as bootable. Ok, all the two partitions are ready. Now we need to select Write to Write on the partition table. Type Yes. And when the process is done, just quit the utility. Now we see the two created partitions and uh, we need to select the second one. Now select X4, click Yes, we need to install Grub and Grub2 for the API. Let's format the boot partition and install the file system directory as read write. Now you just need to wait and when the process is done, reboot and wait for the wizard to start. Remember to have the M2 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module plugged to the board, otherwise the wizard will crash. If you want to avoid this, uh, there is a little procedure you'll find in the video description. At the end of the wizard, uh, we can select the taskbar launcher if you want. In this way, you have a better desktop experience. Apps like Chrome or any other apps you can install from the Play Store can be easily added to the desktop. If you want any widget, you've got covered as well. 
And now you can enjoy the full Android experience with Udo X86 and Blissroom.